Hey Russ here, I just wanna let you know that before we jump into the setting up of sponsored categories, that the steps to doing so are gonna be the same regardless of the types of categories you create. And the different types can be for your marketplace, you can also have categories for your events. So just know that when you're setting up your sponsor categories, the steps to setting up your marketplace and events categories are gonna be the same, so please refer to this video. Now let's jump into the setting up of sponsor categories. So in our previous video, we updated the sponsors homepage. I'll provide a link in the description if you wanna go and watch that. But to get started, we'll go down to the fundraising tab. And here, select sponsors, and then sponsored categories. So this is where those template sponsor categories are going to exist. We can choose to update the existing categories or we can add new categories altogether. So we'll just use what's already provided and we'll update the existing template categories. So we'll click into view and then we can get started on the general tab. Like all the other general tabs, we can update some basic details for the category page itself. So we can update the sponsor category name and its page slug. Again, that slug is gonna update the end of that URL, samples down below. We can then provide a short description. So describe what this category is and then also a feature image. Again, we can remove that template image, upload a brand new one altogether, choose from our media library if we've uploaded images before, or we can ask Bobby, the AI tool, to generate an image for us. So once you're done making changes on this page, be sure to go down and hit save. And once you've done that, we can move on to the next tab. So on the configuration tab, we can update what is called parent sponsor categories. So what that means is that we create a structure, a hierarchy for our sponsor categories. So right now we have the community sponsor template and we have the family and friends sponsor category template. So what we can do is we can assign one of the categories that exist as the parent sponsor category. In this case, we have only the family and friends to choose from since that is the only other option right now. If you created another sponsor category, you could choose from those options as well. So if we were to make the family and friends sponsor category, the parent sponsor category, then this community sponsor category would appear below that category in the list view. So I'll show you what that looks like really quick. So if we jump to the community sponsor category page, you'll, no you'll notice on the left side, we have the family and friends parent sponsor category, and you can, tell it's a parent because it has that drop down where you can click on it, minimize the subcategories for that parent. So we can see that community is the only subcategory right now. If we were to create additional sponsor categories and then tie them to the family and friends parent category, they would appear in this list as well. So now back to the dashboard, if we didn't want to make the community a subcategory, we can make it a parent category and you would do the same thing on your other sponsor categories. So right now we're on the community setup, so it won't be an option to make it a parent category. But if you were editing the family and friends sponsor category itself, you could make that the parent category from there on that configuration tab. So. Once it's a parent category, you can show subcategory tiles and show the number of subcategories for each of the sponsors. So again, we'll jump and we'll see what that looks like. So very similar, we have the community sponsor category page. And on the left side, you'll notice a slight difference. The community sponsor category is now the parent. We have that drop down we can minimize. And you'll see family and friends is now below that. And if we go down below, there is the sponsor category tile, family and friends. So we can click on that tile to go to the family and friends sponsor category page. And we can also see the family and friends sponsor categories on this page as well. So clicking show all will also take you to that category page. So we'll go back to the dashboard and we'll continue on so we can update the sponsor category description. So you can describe what the sponsor category is for highlight the types of organizations or individuals that fall under this specific category. Ultimately, it's gonna be up to you, so you can choose to include any or as much detail as you want. And again, just keep in mind of the character limit. So if you do need additional space for your content, you can do so from the layout tab. 
And then lastly, the color highlight. So you can choose the color that you want to appear on the feature cards for all of the sponsors that fall under this sponsor category. So once you're done making changes on this page, be sure to go down and hit save, and then we can move on to the next tab. And now onto the media tab. And this is one of those tabs that's gonna be the same across all the types of pages that you're creating or updating for the most part. I mentioned this in other videos and guides. So we won't go through all of the settings on this page. So just refer to the written guide for all the detail for the fields on this screen. But as an overview, so the media position, so you can choose how you want your media to appear on the page. Right now it's just full width at the top. And as we saw previously, this is what that page currently looks like. So we have that big hero image and then the contents below all the sponsor tiles for that category. So if you like that layout, you can keep these settings. You might want to adjust the banner ratio or the height just to make that hero image a little bit bigger. You can play around and choose the settings that are gonna work for you. So once you're done updating the settings on this page, you can go down and hit save and then move on to the next tab. So onto the layout tab. So this is where we can really personalize this page. So instead of just having your sponsor tiles in the page description, we can add additional content if we want to maybe link to specific blogs from your community site, maybe articles on how to acquire sponsorships or benefits to sponsoring, things that relate to this particular page. Maybe you have products from your marketplace that you want to promote or just individual pages from your community site. So you'll be able to add that through custom blocks. Just click on the add block to end and then choose the block or the blocks that you want to add. And just keep in mind that on this layout tab, you're gonna see a preview of what this page looks like. But if you wanna get an accurate sense, I recommend using the preview tab down below. You click on that, it'll open up the web page for this sponsor category, and then you'll get a better sense as to what the page looks like. And right now, the view does get distorted just because we're in the dashboard and we have those side menu options. So use the preview tab to really get an idea as to what the page looks like. So take all the time you need to really make the page unique and add all the content that you want. And once you're ready, you can move on to the next tab. And lastly is the visibility tab. So this is where we can change the status of the page. Right now it's set to live, and this means that anyone that has access to my community site can see this page, so long as the page is linked somewhere. There's also a draft, and that's great when you have a page that you're currently working on or you're editing and you don't want those changes to be visible to your audience yet. Set it to draft. It's only gonna be visible for your dashboard admins. And archived, very similar to draft, the only difference here is that you can permanently delete pages that are archived. You can also set the publish date if you want the page to go live on a certain date and time. Just know that you need to set the status of the page to live and then set a publish date. And lastly is the hide after. So if you want this page to only be visible for a certain period of time, you can specify that date and then this category page won't be visible after the hide after date. So once you're done making changes on this page, be sure to hit save, and then that's gonna be it for the sponsor category. And just a reminder, all these settings that we just went through from the general tab all the way to visibility are gonna be the same regardless of the type of category that you create, whether it's a sponsor category, a marketplace category, or an event category. So I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one.